Hi guys! So it is 2.30 in the morning and I cannot sleep because my schedule is so messed up. But I have class at 7 in the morning and I have to work tonight so it's kind of frustrating that I'm probably going to get like 5 hours of sleep and then work 8 hours, drive like an hour and a half both ways. So it's really frustrating today but I'm like what could I do? So I did my hair for tomorrow. I'll just sleep for a couple hours on it and straighten any pieces that get kinked and curled. And then I thought of a few videos I could do. So I'm in my PJs with my little... It's a little monkey. This is from Aeropostale and it says I'm being productive with a little monkey sleeping on a hammock. Yeah, it's like the perfect PJs for me, but I've had them for like years. Um, but I thought I'd do I guess a video of my holy grail products. These are products that I would definitely buy again and that I don't foresee looking and searching for other ones to replace them. Um, there's a lot of products I love that maybe I'm going to do some all-time favorites, but they'd be products that when they're used up I'll probably try something new because that's kind of how I am. I love to try new stuff, but these are definitely, even if I have um, dupes of like a highlighter, I'll still come back to the original one that's in here, if that makes sense. So, I'm going to start by, I'll just start with hair. <laughs> um, my Frizz Ease Heat Defense, Heat Defeat, sorry, Heat Defeat. I um, always use a heat protectant in my hair just to protect my hair and my extensions because both are important. <laughs> um, and I really like John Frieda. Like, I used to use these when I was in high school, and it was one of the few things that did tame my hair, like the frizz and stuff. And I would, like, get away from them and come right back. So I still do that on occasion. Like, I, you know, love this one. I like the smell of it. I use their gel. Actually, their gel should probably be in here, too, because I... This is like the only gel I like for when I style my hair naturally without my extensions because I can, my hair's wavy, so I just put this in it and it gives it like a beachy, wavy look. And it's the clearly defined one and I kind of like the tube, it's weird. It just comes out of this little nozzle here. So, I've got those. And then, whoops, for deodorant, this is going to be odd maybe, but... The Dove Ultimate Go Sleeveless, Sleeveless, I love this stuff. I used to always use the clinical stuff because I'm really strange about, like, feeling like I smell. Like, I'm constantly, like, self-conscious about it. But this stuff is really good smelling. This one's the pearl finish. It smells good. I also use it on, I don't know if you know this, you can use deodorant on your bikini line, and it is really good for those shape bumps. I think it's better than the bikini zone stuff that you can buy specifically. You just, after you shave, you put this on the area, you know, your bikini area, and it works really well. And I like this one in particular. So, then I'll just go to nails. I love this stuff. I need another bottle. It's the Rapid Dry Spray Nail Polish Dryer and you paint your nails, spritz them with this, and let them dry. I didn't use it today, but, because I'm, like, only for when I'm in a rush, because you can see it's got very little left. I need to pick up another bottle, and it says from Trade Secret this was $11. I got it free with, like, a purchase. That's why I tried it, but I love it. And then, I really like Essie Grow Stronger. Well, it just says grow stronger. It's the one in pink bottle, and it makes your nails grow stronger. It's like a nail strengthener, and I really like it. I've been using it, and I do see an improvement, but where do your nails always chip the fastest? On the edges, which is where I need the strengthener. So if I want to keep my polish on, I try to always put this on and then fix the little chipped area. If not, and I'm being super lazy, I never put this on, but I should just, even if it's chipped and I'm not going to fix the whole nail, I should put this on the chip part because it'll help strengthen it. But I never do. 
Then for face, I love Origins Ginseng. This is just a tiny little bottle that I got. It's like a one month supply. Uh, the big bottle is in my bathroom and I also have the little tube in um, tube sample in my thing. And all you do is you take it on your ring finger and you kind of, I rub, I'm not going to lie, I rub, but you're supposed to pat. And they say to do it kind of here, like under your dark circles. I usually, if I have extra, I will bring it up here just because that skin, just to moisturize it, like the top layer. But because you don't really have pores up here, I guess, it's better to put it down here. It'll sink in and like treat that area anyways. It's kind of weird. But I also use the, use the Garnier Fructis dark circle one, and that's like a concealer in it. So that I put all over because it's got the concealer. It's meant to conceal also. Then Burt's Bees Ultra Conditioning Lip Balm. I will probably keep buying this one. I might try other Burt's Bees maybe, because this one doesn't have a taste or a smell. But this is amazing, because this is the ultra conditioning one, which is great for me. I need it because I bite my lips. I actually have triple ointment on right now. I don't have any makeup on either. That's why I'm shiny and break broken out. But um, to like help heal it, because I just eat it, eat my lips alive. That's weird, but yeah. Um, ooh, the other stuff is kind of um, face and lashes. So these are my all-time favorite holy grail lashes they are from salon perfect they're the perfectly glamorous in the demi wispies these i use in almost every tutorial i might try out other ones but these i always come back to loving for every day for even dramatic looks i really love them they are my absolute absolute favorite i just got some that have little rhinestones on the corner and i like those for special flair but if these had rhinestones on them I would get these. <laughs> so, I love those. And then for, I don't know if this is on necessity, but this is the lash glue I like. Just the lash grip adhesive. Um, I like it in the black. You can see it dried black on the outside because I got it all over. It comes out gray and dye, dries black. black. I also like the white one. So if I do like a brown natural look, I'll use the white because it'll dry clear. And then if I use black liner, I can use this one because it dries black, you know. I really like that. And then my two other favorite products that I never plan on replacing, um, like, as in have, going without them. Like, if I run out, I'm not going to replace them with something else. I might, I have other things like them, but I might even buy more things like them, but... I'll always come back to them if that makes sense. This is the Dior Amber Diamond, so it's just really beautiful. I've got lamp light, so I mean, you can only get so far with it, but it's really beautiful. And I just, I've always loved this. I i don't use anything else as a highlighter anymore. Like, I used to always use my Pink Power um, MSF from the Wonder Woman collection from MAC. And now I've switched to this, and I just, I never really use anything else. I'm trying to think when the last time I did was. You know, I don't remember if I did. <laughs> um, and then the Dior Matte Bronzer in Honey 2, which is just a really perfect shade for me. It's not the lightest, but it's, it's not as dark as tan. I think the other one is tan. This is honey matte, and the other one's tan matte, or amber matte, something like that. And this is, like, really perfect. I look super washed out right now, but it just adds a really healthy glow. Yeah, I look more washed out on camera, because I'm shiny in the mirrors. So, I love this. It's got SPF 20, which I any SPF is a good friend of mine. So, if I buy other bronzers, I will definitely still be using this one and have it, and I don't go through bronzer super fast, so the only other one I want to try is um, NARS Laguna bronzer, but there's such a hate-love relationship with that one that I'm not that, um, like, gung-ho to get it, so 
I might do an ultimate favorites video. Just cause. Like, yeah. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed my rambly 2.30 in the morning. Should be in bed. Should be tired. Film story thing. Bye.